Hello, my name's Shira Taft, and I'm back again to take a closer look at some of the key features of the Isuzu F-Series range of medium-duty trucks. In this video, we're gonna be unpacking the diesel particulate diffuser exhaust system, otherwise known as the DPD. Found on F-Series models, powered by the 240 horsepower Isuzu 4HK1 TCH engine, the six-cylinder 260 horsepower 6HK1 TCC engine, and the 300 horsepower 6HK1 TCS engine. Since its initial adoption in 2004, Isuzu engineers have fine-tuned and calibrated the DPD to best suit Australian operating conditions, resulting in a well-performing and reliable emissions control system. Let's take a closer look. Through the use of the DPD, Isuzu F-Series models not only meet the rigorous Euro 5 emission standards, but also the tougher EEV standard due to its ability to capture most of the particulate emissions. This more than satisfies the most recent ADR 80-03 emissions benchmark for commercial vehicles, which came into force in 2011. Located midway along the exhaust system, the DPD combines an oxidation catalyst to clean hydrocarbons and a ceramic filter that traps particulate matter, or PM. Pressure differential sensors that are used to monitor the accumulation of trapped PM within the ceramic filter, and once again a certain amount of PM is detected, the ceramic filter regenerates. So what is the diesel particulate diffuser and how does it work? The DPD forms part of the truck's exhaust and emissions control system. More often than not, the DPD will regenerate automatically once certain operating conditions are achieved and this requires no additional input from the driver. However, in certain circumstances, a manual regeneration is required, which we'll demonstrate shortly. There's no input required from the driver at this point and the truck will continue to drive and perform as normal. The green lamp will remain on the dash until the regeneration is complete. It will then disappear from the dash. It's important to allow the regeneration process to be fully completed, so avoid turning off the truck until it has done so unless absolutely necessary. If the process is interrupted more than twice, the truck will then alert the driver that a manual regeneration of the DPD is required. In the rare circumstance the driver is required to perform a manual regeneration, it is essential that the truck is parked and stationary throughout the process. The truck must be idling with the transmission in neutral and the park brake applied. To commence a manual regeneration, push the DPD switch, which is positioned on the left-hand side of the steering wheel under the windscreen wiper shifter. During a manual DPD regeneration, the idle speed increases slightly and a regeneration lamp will appear on the driver's instrument panel. Depending on how long it's been between regenerations, this process can take anywhere between 5 and 40 minutes. Once the manual regeneration is complete, the idle speed will return to a normal level and the truck can be operated again. With the correct operation, Isuzu's DPD system is simple to operate and requires very little input from drivers. Together with its state-of-the-art, low-displacement diesel engine technology, Isuzu's DPD system is working to create a cleaner environment. This video is part of a broader F-Series demonstration playlist, which can be browsed on the Isuzu Trucks YouTube channel. Further information on the Isuzu Trucks lineup can also be found on the Isuzu Trucks website. Thanks for watching. Thank you.